King Showtime, King Showtime, it's King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, it's King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, King Showtime, it's King Showtime, time, time. First off, I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of our WWE journey. Training here isn't like anything you've done before. If you ask me, I think she's gonna do big things here. So it's only a matter of time before her road to Rhea ends with a terrible, violent collision. This will be a disaster of the most beautiful kind. If you wanna call me out, you can just say my name. We were born into greatness. It's in our blood. In WWE, we like to solve our problems in the ring. Wow, this is really nice. Yep, and it's the last stop on our tour. Here you'll be evaluated by the trainers, the bosses, and your fellow wrestlers. When you're in the gym, all eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, isn't there anyone on the European side we can discuss this with? Ugh, not discuss, discuss. So, what do you think? I can't believe I'm actually here. I meant about the tour. Too rushed? I don't mind, I'm anxious to get started. We feel the same way. Sure seems like it. Oh, sorry, one of those days, you know. Listen, I've been the head recruiter here for a few years now, and I can't remember another trainee I've been this excited about. I'm finishing up a tour right now. Frankly, not one of my best. I'll be back in my office in five. Any questions? Uh, just one or two, maybe. Like, I was wondering- Great. I've got to run and deal with this. And you've got the last bit of forms to fill out. Waivers and whatnot. I gave you your training gear, right? No, I didn't. Get started on the forms. I'll be back in a few. When WWE is trying to put smiles on people's faces all over the world, it truly is all hands on deck. I'm walking back to my office now. Walking back to... Wall King... Back... To... I thought England was always cloudy and raining. Isn't that like its whole thing? Hold on. All set? All set. Great. Nervous? Don't be. You've got a great look. I think you're going to enjoy your time here. Thanks. I'm just ready to work to make this dream happen. That's the right attitude. Dedication. Focus. Hey, yep, got all that. Go ahead and get changed. The other trainees should be here soon. Everyone meets in the main ring area. Will do. You're going to get a survey on how your first day orientation went. For my job security, it would be great if you could... All fives. It's out of ten. All tens. Maybe one nine, just so it doesn't look fishy. <laughs> Stupid question, but how fast is the fastest boat? That's not that fast. I think you're in the wrong locker room. No, nope. pretty sure I'm in the right place. This is for wrestlers. Don't you have a ball to kick somewhere? That's cool you're a fan, but FYI, the only thing I'm here to kick is asses. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Typical pampered athlete, thinking you can bluster your way through this. Any talent you might have won't mean anything once the sweating starts. Training here isn't like anything you've done before. I've gotten more bumps and bruises than a rotten jackfruit. And I've pulled muscles I didn't even know I had. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. And you have no idea what it took for me to get here. I know how to put in work. Not like this. 
While you spent the last decade being catered to and taken care of, I trained in Calgary, the epicenter of wrestling, and then fought the best independent wrestlers in North America. And I've gotten the scars to prove it. We've all taken different roads to get here. Now, it's time to find out who deserves to stay. I've worked too hard for too long to get here, to let some walking shin guards fresh off the pitch steal my spot. Hey, I'm Mei Lee, but everybody calls me Fanny. Nice to... because my last name is Fan and I'm a WWE super fan. And hopefully someday when I make it to WWE, there'll be Fandemonium. Get it? Sounds good, Fanny. Nice! I am so excited you're here. Oh yeah, are you a soccer fan too? Nope, I'm just tired of being the new girl. It's all WWE for me. I can't get enough. I even follow indies like PCW. You ever heard of Buzz? No, but I can hear a loud buzzing in my head. Then again, maybe that's just you. He's probably my favorite wrestler. I've seen him compete 2009 times. Wow, that's a lot. He actually put in a good word with management to get me in here. And this has been the best two weeks of my life. Well, maybe not quite as good as the two weeks I camped out for WrestleMania tickets in New Jersey. It was colder, but there were a lot fewer surprise super kicks. You know WrestleMania, right? Yeah, I don't live under a rock. It's only the biggest, greatest, grandest event in the entire universe. It's the crown jewel of sports entertainment. I've been six times, as a fan, obviously, but maybe, I mean, could you imagine? Fandemonium in the ring at WrestleMania? Anything can happen in WWE, right? So who knows, maybe I'll be right there with you. Awesome! Sup, new girl. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Even though I'm mainly training the men right now, I'm always around if you need any advice. Good to know. One thing I can share with you right now is that in this business, you either have it or you don't. My daddy taught me something a long time ago. You could polish a dog turd all day. To the end of the day, it's still doo-doo. I'm not sure I totally understand. Me neither. Why would anyone even want to polish dog poo? It's disgusting. Anyway, trust your gut, pick your spots, and make sure you don't end up in the D-O-double-G house. Good luck. Woo! <laughs> First off, I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of our WWE journey. If you hadn't noticed, there's a lot going on behind the scenes today, so fortunately, I don't have time to go to the big corporate speech that old Vinnie Mac and his pals in HR require me to give every single time a new trainee arrives. So we're going to cut to the chase. Have you met Chase? He used to dress like a giant rib. Huh? Fanny, zip it. Sorry, Mrs. Glamazon. Okay, as you may or may not know, the WWE superstars just finished up a huge European tour. Unfortunately, a big storm hit, and now their plane won't make it back in time for Raw in Miami tonight. There are a few superstars who weren't on the tour that are able to make the show, but now Sasha Banks doesn't have an opponent. OMG, the bus! Fanny! Anyway, we heard from Raw GM Mandy Rose that they're scrambling to find someone to take on Sasha. So, that's where one of you comes in. I'm already packed. Let's go. That's great. But we haven't made a decision on which one of you will face Sasha tonight. And in WWE, we like to solve our problems in the ring. There's no decision. It's me. She started hyperventilating the moment Beth walked in. You think she can wrestle on live television in front of the entire WWE universe? I can do it. I'll be fine. Whoa, whoa getting dizzy. I better sit down. Yeah, I'm out. And she hasn't been here long enough to know where the restrooms are. Third door on the right. <sighs> it's second door on the left, but close. Look, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. Josie, you've been a bit banged up recently. Are you even up for this match? I can do it. Sasha Banks won't know what hit her. Okay, problem solved. Josie will go face Sasha. Not unless she gets through me first. The decision has already been made. 
I thought in WWE, we solve our problems in the ring. Yeah, most of the time we do. But this is different. We're on a time crunch here. Sean, she's got a point. Okay, okay, fine. You two, get in the ring. Winner goes to Raw to face Sasha Banks. And whatever you do, make it quick.
What do you want? I know I'm the one going to face Sasha Banks now, but just wanted to say, nice match. Thanks. I'll admit you're better than I thought. But you're lucky I'm not 100%. If I was, I'd be the one taking on Sasha Banks tonight. So next time we fight, I promise it won't be anything like our first encounter. I look forward to seeing you at your best. That was amazing! Are you so excited? I'm so excited, and I'm not even going to Raw. How springy do you think the mat will be? Same as here, or slightly different? Do you think Sasha Banks will smell good? Will you bring me back something from catering? Oh, and some hotel shampoo? Fanny, you're starting to hyperventilate again. I know! This is embarrassing! You're the one going, and I'm hyperventilating! <gasps> I guess I'm just hyperventilating on the inside. Right. I'm gonna go try to calm down. Good luck, and don't forget the shampoo! Ugh, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here to face Sasha Banks tonight. They sent you? You've been at the PC for what, 24 hours? I think it was just under three, actually. Great. I mean, first it was the travel issues and now this. Do you think the other GMs have to deal with this crap? No, they don't. They could have at least sent someone who spent some time inside a real ring. I thought it would be Josie Jane. So did she. But I'm here now, and I plan to make the most of my opportunity. Okay. I guess we'll have to make it work. Just try not to embarrass yourself or me or Raw, okay? You know what? That's too much to ask. Just don't get hurt. What's up? I'm R Truth. Welcome to Friday Night Raw. Isn't it Monday Night Raw? Man, I was one of the lucky ones who made it back from Europe. I'm so jet lagged, I don't know what day it is. But Raw is always on Mondays. Only if you don't have a DVR. Anyway, someone told me you were a PC girl. That's right. Cool. I don't know nothing about computers, but I'm starting to think that fad is here to stay. It certainly looks that way. Listen, a little birdie told me you were here to face Sasha Banks. That's true. I'm hoping to give her everything I've got. Enough about that. The real question is why are birdies telling me other people's secrets? I don't know. One of life's great mysteries, I guess. Anyway, good luck again, Sasha. I got a feeling you're going to be fine. But keep an eye out for any gossiping birds. They're bad news. Thanks. Who are you? I'm actually your opponent tonight. No, you're not. I don't wrestle fans. I'm not a fan. Well, I am. A fan, you know, of yours. And WWE, of course. But, I mean, I'm from the PC. I know who's at the PC. You? Ain't one of them. I just started today. And they sent you to face me? Are you kidding? I was supposed to have a Raw Women's Championship match against Naomi tonight. And now I'm facing off against this joke? Wait, are you dying, and this is your wish? Look, I get it. I'm brand new here, and not what you expected. But what you can expect is for me to give you everything I've got. I can't imagine that's very much. I'm a boss. You're a nobody. After tonight, I might be a somebody. We have an unprecedented situation tonight where due to the fact almost the entire roster was stranded overseas, you're going to see some fresh faces on Raw. And one of those fresh faces is Sasha Banks' opponent who just started at the Performance Center earlier today. It's one thing to be a rookie and take on the boss, but this is insane. I have a feeling her face isn't going to be so fresh after this is over. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. The boss is too slow there. 
the suffering to end, that's why. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Great athleticism. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. And misses on the springboard. Nasty kick. Banks needs to be resourceful in this situation. Trouble. Boss, 
Blast off. to Wells that didn't even know existed. Uh. Right up for it. Push in the corner. right now. I would be too. Nonetheless, what? <laughs>